Hi guys, welcome to another episode of One Beer Leads to Another. I'm actually back in Bristol, Rhode Island at 12 Guns Brewery. I uh, got a flight here in front of me. Uh, it's a gorgeous summer night out. There's a breeze coming off the water. Um, so the first beer up uh, tonight is uh, the Parade Route. This is their session IPA. It was recommended to me by the two very cute beer tendresses behind the bar. So um, let's go ahead and give it a try. Hmm, that's good. Um, it's got a nice full body to it. Um, it doesn't have a really heavy um, IPA aftertaste. And I've, as I've told you in other videos, I really like it when they uh, label and have these little unique uh, tasting glasses. So um, yeah, oh, yeah, that's pretty good. It's a smooth drinker. Um, I'm going to give this 3.75 Champleys. All right, next up here at 12 Guns is the Shore Leave Double IPA. Now. As you guys know, I am not a huge fan of the overly hoppy, heavy aftertaste, double IPAs. But the beer tenderist assured me. I said, you know, I know you're gonna steer me towards the double IPA. She goes, yeah, I am. She goes, cause it's super smooth. It doesn't have that heavy. So we're holding her accountable. And if this doesn't turn out right, we're getting her out here on camera. She's, she's half right. It does not have, it's not overly hoppy, and it doesn't have that sharp aftertaste, but it has kind of that dank aftertaste. Like, you know, like it's been sitting in your garage for the winter or something. Uh, yeah, eh, it's okay. Three Champleys. All right, guys, so I'm really, really excited about this beer. It's the peanut butter stout, and it's called the Nutty Professor. Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. <laughs> Anyways, let's give it a try. Wow. It's actually really good. It's got a really... I'm. Yeah, I, I don't even get a peanut butter taste in there. That's not to take anything away from it. It's, it's a really good stout. It's heavy. It's coffee. Um, it doesn't have a horrible aftertaste to it. Um, I think so far this is my favorite beer here, and I doubt it's going to be the blueberry muffin that I got out of, you know, diversity. Um, Yeah, that's really good. I'm going to give that 4.25 Champleys. All right, gang. Welcome back to One Beer Leads to Another, my search across America for the best craft breweries. We're here at uh, 12 Guns in Bristol, Rhode Island. So I saved the what I think is probably going to be the most interesting uh, for last. This is the Blueberry Cobbler and I want to read the description to you. It says, a pastry sour with tons of blueberries and vanilla. It gives you that nice, sweet pie crust finish with a complex but balanced blueberry profile. Okay, let's see if it delivers all that. I've never tasted pie crust in a beer before. Yeah. That's just, they were right when they said a pastry sour. Absolutely correct. This falls again into that category of someone poured grapefruit juice in my beer and didn't tell me about it. I don't really get any blue, I, I definitely get the sour. I don't really get any blueberries. I don't get any vanilla. And God damn it, where is the pie crust? Right? That's the only reason you buy pie is to eat the crust. Anyways, it's 
it listen it is what it is um i want to be fair 3.5 champ please all right guys wrapping up here at 12 guns brewery in bristol rhode island um i liked it it's um it's an okay brewery i'm not blown away about it by it i mean it's kind of a nice atmosphere here um, they have a limited selection of beers, probably about six or eight. Um, it is nice to look out on the lumber yard. Um, but other than that, um, I have to say that my favorite beer of the night was definitely the coffee stout. Um, it was very good. I may have been a little over exuberant with the 4.25. I don't know, I went back and forth on that. Maybe a four. But um, it, was, it was okay here. I'm glad I stopped. I'm going to give the brewery overall a three Champleys. Um, so I want to remind you, um, if you like the videos, uh, give them a thumbs up. If you really like the videos, hit that subscribe button. And I will see you next time on another episode of One Beer Leads to Another.